It appeared to be a well-planned heist. Three thieves breaking into the Lao Buddhist temple near Holland as a lookout and a getaway driver waited outside. They stole more than $50,000 in cash and religious artifacts in eight minutes. News 8's Ken Coker reviewed surveillance video of the theft today and spoke with temple leaders. Surveillance video of the brazen midday break-in shows a woman in the parking lot out back appearing to pray while also acting as a lookout. Yeah, yeah, right there. The timestamp shows about 10 a.m. Sunday, but temple leaders say it was closer to noon as more than 100 worshipped in the temple out front. Two women and a man through an unlocked back door of the old temple out back where two monks live. The monks were at worship. But and take a closer look at the lookout. What's she doing? She almost looks like she's yeah. praying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Praying for what? I don't know. Praying not to get caught? They have another theory that she is trying to look like a worshiper. Yeah, I think it's more a cover up, like, oh, I'm here, I'm praying, because they know it's a temple. Temple yeah, leaders say it appears they knew right where to go, yeah. to the locked bedrooms of the monks. The money they stole included the monks' life savings. It's years and years of them saving up. They believe the thieves knew that the doors of both temples were always unlocked, allowing worshipers to pray at any time. To me, it seemed like they know what it is, what to do. It's happened so quick. Temple leaders say they wonder if it's connected to recent thefts from Asian temples around the country. It's a very sacred place to us. I mean, what has happened, um, I think, um, put quite a toll on um, our community. I think we feel quite violated because it's sacred grounds, right? They say that they will lock their doors from now on. Do you think that's a, a, a hate thing or is it just a, was this just a crime of opportunity? I think it's more opportunity. Anyone with information is asked to call the Ottawa County Sheriff's Department or Silent Observer. In Holland Township, Ken Kolker, News 8.